Thanks for watching Outdoors Delmarva. I'm Mike Parker. I'm here this morning in Sussex County, Delaware for an event that you could say is bringing together some of the best up and comers in the local canine population. Yeah, just about a mile or so down this road is the Woodland Ferry Beagle Club. And this morning they're holding what they call a derby trial, which brings together some young beagles, still pretty inexperienced out in the field, putting them to the test, trying to get them on the scent of some rabbits and seeing what kind of promise they hold for the future. Okay, sir, how many do you have to enter? Just one. Right? Just one, okay. A Sunday morning at the Woodland Ferry Beagle Club near Bethel typically starts out like this. Number six, chop tank, river, tidewater, stew. In the clubhouse, where today preparations are being made for a derby trial. We're having a United Beagle Gun Dog Federation small pack option trial here today. These are derbies, called derbies. These are the young dogs. Young, meaning somewhere between 11 and 21 months of age. Most of these beagles are already showing some promise when it comes to their natural instincts of sniffing out rabbits. And a small event like this is a great challenge. Right, point it right over top of the dog's shoulders there. Today, the trial will include a grouping of both 13-inch and 15-inch beagle classes, measured and separated, but we'll be focusing on the 13-inch group as they're unleashed into the club's 80-acre fence-enclosed property, designed specifically to hold rabbits for the chasing. And when you hear that howl, you know they're on the trail one. The uh, sending conditions are going to be very, very difficult today. So a run in the first series, if you will, can last anywhere from 10 to 15, 10, 15 minutes up to a half hour. Following the pack today is a gallery of handlers and spectators and two judges watching the dogs every move. Pick one didn't smell. Well, as expectations go, they're often crushed, whether for better or for worse. But today, expected to be tough for finding scent, is actually too good at times and problematic for the judges when the beagles jump multiple rabbits at once and split up in different directions. Let it go, Danny. We're moving. There's too, there too many rabbits up in that other section there, so the dogs are getting crossed up on a different line. So we're going to try it down here. Maybe we'll get a good rabbit and get a nice run. You got a line right there, guys. But after a few adjustments and relocation, this young pack seems to finally unify. And as the chase continues through various types of terrain, the judges are able to make a good assessment. First place is Lomax is easy Elvira. Back at the clubhouse, the results are in, and the winners are announced. Each worthy beagle in this 13-inch grouping taking its place from first, second, third, fourth, and next best qualifying. Top dogs in qualifying events like this could move on to bigger ones on a national scale. But for now, each dog and its handler is content to learn a little more about itself and each other and future expectations in the field. I thought that, in my opinion, what I was looking for from her was just her nose to the ground and that she was just doing what is instilled in her to do, just look for the rabbit and find it. <laughs>